welcome to Destined Nation. I'm Pastoria Tessa and this is Quench Your Thursday. So every Thursday, we will be learning biblical principles on seeking God. Psalm 63 verse 1, O God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. Now, open your heart and let's worship the Lord. along with us. One, two, three. You will seek me and 
and find me when you see me with all of your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. So teens, we will be singing it one more time, but this time let's all sing it together. One, two, three. You will seek me and find me when you see me with all of your heart. especially to those who know that God has given them the talent to make your own version of this song for our verse so that people may hear God's word through you. Also, when you post your song, don't forget to make it public and to use our hashtags, hashtag Destination and hashtag Quench Your Thursday. So teens, this has been Verse of the Day and, and you are destined for Christ. Hello and welcome to Sing His Praise. And today we'll be learning from Psalm 69 verse 30. And it says there, I will praise the name of God with song and magnify Him with thanksgiving. So three Hebrew words for you in this verse. Alright, number one, praise, which is the Hebrew word halal. And halal means to boast, to make it clear and to be clamorously foolish so just imagine the worship of david or number two magnify magnify here is the hebrew word gadal which means to boast to advance to exceed all right and to honor all right and lastly is thanksgiving which is the hebrew word toda all right toda is um, the extension of the hand, adoration, thanksgiving. So, this is the kind of worship that David is offering to the Lord. He doesn't think what other people think. He just thinks what pleases God. So today, we encourage you, as you worship God, don't think what looks good or what people will praise but look to God. Look what will please Him. Alright? Don't think what's Instagrammable for DP, for Facebook. No. Alright? When you worship God, worship God with all of your heart. Alright? Worship Him. Halal, gadal, and toda God with all of your heart, with all of your soul. Worship must be expressed from the heart, not from your profile. Amen! So always remember, you are destined for Christ. Yeah! Welcome back to Teens on Fire segment. I'm Pastoria Tessa together with my co-host Yobel from East Campus. Today, do you want to hear a promise? A promise that you'll definitely love. We will find out the promise of God for those who seek Him. But before that, let's learn from the answers of some teens about seeking God. Question number one. Are you a seeker of God? Yes or no? And what does being a seeker of God mean? Are you a seeker of God? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am a seeker of God. Being a seeker of God means making God the first priority in your life having the hunger and the thirst to grow more in His Word. But it doesn't just stop with that. But it is also taking the time and spending more time in His presence to grow. You always read the Word of God. You always pray to Him and you always praise Him 7 out of 7 in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that you always praise, pray, and read the Word of God. Question number 2. How do you seek God? So we can seek God by, of course, having communication with Him. So first, we do our prayers, we do our devotions, we attend our services, and our go groups. And lastly, we can seek Him more by serving Him in the ministry and being active in our local churches. By prayer and fasting, asking for forgiveness. After that, you obey His word and share His word to other people. You boast what He has done before and for us now and what he is remember you will win more souls when you do what you teach i seek god by always reading his word every day and 
all, I always pray to Him every day and every night. And also, seeking the Lord means you want to have a deep relationship with Him. And that includes giving up everything that is not right in God's eyes. For our question number 3, let's read Jeremiah 29 verse 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So how can you apply this verse to your life? For example, in your devotion, in the time of desperate, or in troubled situations. By always praying and reading the word of God with my whole heart. You will only find God when you put your heart into it. You read every day, you pray every day, you worship every day, you communicate with Him every day, you ask guidance from Him every day. When you constantly searching for Him with all your heart, then He Himself will appear before you. We put Him our, as our top priority before our games, our movies, our dramas, our animes, and even our studies. And um, it says in the verse that if you seek Him wholeheartedly, then you will find Him. In conclusion, the promise to the seekers of God is to find Him. Wow! Who would not love that promise? Isn't it that is what we should long and love to do each and every day of our lives? That's it for now in our Teens on Fire. You are destined for Christ. Hi, this is your compass, Deuteronomy 4.29. But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find Him, if you seek Him with all your heart and with all your soul. Today, we will be learning seeking God with all our hearts. God promised He will be found when we seek Him. Jeremiah 29 verse 13, You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Have you ever experienced being played hide and seek by someone? They sin zone your messages, pass you by, and tried their best to ignore you and never give attention. God will not do that to you. Amen? He will never hide. He will never be unavailable. He is always available when you call and seek Him. What does it mean to find God? It means to appear or be present. God will be present at the very moment you seek Him. How do we seek Him? Deuteronomy 4.29, our verse, But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find Him if you seek Him with all your heart and with all your soul. The seeking is done by your heart and your soul. Our inner man, our mind, our will, our heart, your decision to seek Him. Seeking God is a continuous thing that we do in our life. It is a lifestyle. This is a regular thing. Hence, daily devotions, daily worship, daily prayer, this is what it means to continuously seek God in our lives. God says, seek me and you will find me. Seek me and your hearts will live. Teens, you are destined for Christ. Seek Him and you will live. You will have this life with the Lord. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much because you have a promise that when we seek you, we can find you. Thank you so much because you are always with us. Thank you that you never hide from us. You never give up of your love for us. Even though sometimes we are hard-headed, still when we call to you, you have promised to be present and you will appear even in the times that we are in trouble. Father, right now in every heart's Give us a desire to seek you, that as we seek you, our hearts will live, our hearts will be revived, our hearts will always be overflowing with this desire of wanting you each day in our lives. And our hearts will always be having life to serve you, to want you, and to do the things that will please you. Father, we thank you for your presence that brings joy in our lives each day, every time we seek you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So thank you so much for joining us today. And see you again tomorrow. God bless.